because I have cheated and looked ahead to the weekend. It is looking like a find something indoors to do <laughs> kind of a weekend, a show or a movie or watch TV or something like My that. ACC basketball. That's what there I'm you thinking. Go. Right? Oh, poor wake. You had to bring it up again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> I, I just enjoy it. As long as the games are close, it's a lot of fun, right? This weekend, we also are going to be springing forward. Remember that you're going to set your clocks ahead one hour Saturday night before you go to bed. Boy, we got out there this morning. We had a lot of rain around and kind of a slow commute, but on the way home, a little bit of sunshine peeking through. So that was nice. Now, one of the things with spring, of course, is the pollen season and the tree pollens have been through the roof high and very high counts up until today, right? Getting a little bit of relief thanks to some of that rain and we're going to see a lower count tomorrow. It will start to creep back up some though, and we do have more rain coming in our forecast. A small chance tomorrow. Highest chance comes Friday night into Saturday. Friday is actually a pretty nice day ahead of that front. Those temperatures are going to be the warmest of the next several days, so 64. But then look at how chilly it gets over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. Those are highs that are in the mid 40s, close to 50. We had thinned the clouds out just a little bit, but the clouds are starting to come back and yes, we will have them filling in. So mostly cloudy skies in the forecast. Temperatures right now, low 40s in the mountains, low 50s in Reedsville, as well as Asheboro. A little warmer down south. Look at Wilmington at 70 degrees, and that is where that front is. It's also where most of the cloud cover, the showers, and even the thunderstorms are. There's even a threat for some severe weather along I-95 east toward the beaches. For us, we just got a lot of heavy rain. Now, we saw in the blue areas here about a quarter to a half of an inch. Parts of Surrey and Stokes County, parts of Wilkes County, where you fill in with the green here, one to two inches of rain over Forsyth, Davie, Yatkin counties, and then east over Alamance as well as Randolph and Guilford County, some two plus inches of rain. So we will be drying out between these two weather systems tomorrow and Friday. So here's the forecast for tomorrow morning. You notice the clouds around and by afternoon there's a small rain chance across the triad. That's just with the passage of that low down along the coast. Otherwise, it is mainly dry. It's going to be chilly, though, with a wind out of the northeast at 5 to 10 miles an hour. That's what I call one of our more miserable wind directions. It is going to keep the clouds around. We're also going to have the temperatures slow to warm, upper 40s, close to 50 in the afternoon. For the foothills, we've got temperatures into the upper 40s by late afternoon, perhaps a drizzle or passing light rain shower in the morning. For the mountains, I think it should be pretty dry, but it's going to stay cool. We'll be close to freezing tomorrow morning and then mid 40s in the afternoon afternoon. We're getting set for a weather impact heading into the weekend. It's the rain ending as snow in the mountains, strong winds and falling temperatures during the day on Saturday. This cold air here where temperatures are in the teens and 20s, that is going to be heading our way so that by Saturday we've got rain and then you see that transition to a little bit of snow. Also, the temperatures will be falling on Saturday. So I've got 55 in the morning, temps in the 40s in the afternoon, strong cold winds, and yes, teens and 20s for Sunday morning.